one of the things that is happening in society right now that I think is quite dramatic is a real shift in the way that we understand what is the relationship between the state and citizens, what is the state relationship between the state and people in general. And that is something that's really changing as a result of new kinds of technologies that have been developed, uh, new ways of surveilling people, and new ways of storing data, quite frankly. And so I guess that's where my interest in these institutions comes from, is just trying to understand how they're influencing the rest of the world and, and to try to help develop a vocabulary, a kind of visual and cultural vocabulary that we can use to begin talking about the, this, this kind of thing. It's very difficult to talk about something that's so abstract. So I feel like part of my job is to try to point at something, to try to make an image that can be a kind of reference point for a larger conversation. When we imagine organizations like the NSA or the CIA or the National Geospatial Intelligence Agency, I think we tend to think about them as being very separate from the rest of the state and very separate from other civic institutions. And to a certain degree, that's true. These are secret agencies. They have classified budgets. They, most of everything that they do is classified. At the end of the day, however, these are not so dissimilar from your local library. And we have no problem going to the local library and saying what policies we want, what hours we want them to be open, have something to say about what, uh, what the rules are. And we don't feel that same sense of ownership over the agencies of the intelligence community, and I think we should. What I hope is that these images will be, first of all, helpful to people to just try to wrap their heads around what some of these agencies are, to just point to them and acknowledge the fact that they're there, that they exist, that they're doing work. Beyond that, I hope that they can contribute in some small part to a wider cultural a vocabulary that we can use to try to see these institutions, to try to understand them, to try to think about what it is that they do, and to try to think about the effect that they have on the society around them.